Google Tasks is pretty good for the absolute basics. If you're just getting started with managing tasks for you and your team, and you want something that's bare bones, you don't have to learn a new app and works right within the Google ecosystem, well, Google Tasks is pretty good for that. Is there a way to link a Google Sheet into Google Workspace Tasks? Additionally, we have Google Sheets for with data, no municipality setbacks, material types and sizes and they come in, etc. Is the Google Sheet the most efficient way to have the team referencing them? Okay, that's quite interesting. So Google have a new feature called Tasks or they've rebuilt their task system. And I've got to say it's getting pretty darn good. Google Tasks now lives in your apps, in workspace, pretty much everywhere you're operating. So you'll see it on the sidebar in Gmail. Uh, you'll see it alongside your calendar. You're going to see it alongside possibly even Google Drive. I think that sidebar is there. So you've got the option to see your tasks anywhere you're working. The app also works inside of Google Calendar now in the interface online. And there's a pretty decent mobile app as well. Now, personally, for my business tasks, I use Asana for shared tasks with my team. We use that because it's great for project delivery. It lets us do timelines. It lets us do reporting. We can even do time billing inside of there. And there's a whole lot of automations and workflows that you just couldn't get near inside of tasks. But Google Tasks is pretty good for the absolute basics. If you're just getting started with managing tasks for you and your team, and you want something that's bare bones, you don't have to learn a new app and works right within the Google ecosystem, well, Google Tasks is pretty good for that. I can't say I'd recommend it for anyone who has more than two or three staff because by that point, you probably want something a bit more sophisticated. And that's when you're going to look at Asana or Monday or Trello. There's lots of different apps out there. And we've got other videos on the channel helping you to make a good choice with task management. Let's come back to tasks and how it integrates with the rest of the ecosystem because there's a couple of interesting things that it does do that are pretty cool within Google Workspace. Now, the first one is chat. And so if I go ahead and open up my chat here, I've got my chat with PA here who helps me to do all of my day-to-day -day organizing of the business and everything that I need help with. And you'll notice that I have a chat space set up with uh, Gypsy, who is my PA. Effectively, this room is just myself and my PA. Now, let's say I want to set up a task between myself and someone else who's included in this chat space. Well, I can go to the tasks menu here and think of this as like a shared tasks lists for people who are sitting inside this chat space. So I can add a space task and I'll just call it test. Here is a task. And uh, if I want to delegate that to someone, I can assign that. I'll add that to Gypsy. She's in the room. You can even add a date and a time when it is due. And you can see there, I've got my task. I can put in a description if I want to put in some details. And what that is going to do is that is going to appear in Gypsy's tasks right across her Google ecosystem. So it means that anywhere that she has tasks, whether she's in her uh, inbox, you can see on the right hand side, I can open up a panel here and it's going to show me all of my tasks that are assigned to me. There's not really much here at the moment. If I was to assign that to myself, that's going to pop up in my task list here on the right hand side. Here we go. See task here and it's sitting inside uh, the PA tasks Google chat space. All right, that's pretty cool. So that's one way of using tasks. But another way of using tasks, which is also pretty cool, is you can actually use them, I think, inside of documents. We're going to see. This person has asked if they can use them inside a Google Sheet. I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure you can using the new people chips feature. I'm going to test it in a document first, and then we'll try it in a spreadsheet. So if you want to open up a fresh document, you can just click on to doc.new. And that's going to open up a fresh document for you. And let's say, for example, help me write, tell me a short story. Now, I'm using Google Duet, which is Google's new AI feature. You do need to add this on to your Google account so that you have you know, licensing assigned to your staff to get access to it. But once you do that, Google Duet is going to give me, here we go, in an enchanted forest, blah, 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 blah. Cool. All right. That's my little story. Now, if I want to add a task in here, I might take this and I might say, you know what, I want to mention someone, I want to say Peter, here we go, add Peter, can you please improve this, oops, this draft. And I'm hoping that's going to give me the option to make that into a task. I think that's just mentioned Peter. Here we go. Okay, cool. So it appears I have to actually do at and then the word task. That's going to use Google's smart chips feature. So at task, this is the first time I've done this make this draft better. There we go. Assign it to Peter. They're all the same Peter. And that's due on Friday, right after the TPS reports. Okay, so I'm going to click assign as a task. Here we go. Assign tasks by Google Docs. The assignee will be notified by email and they will see the tasks in their personal task list. Okay, great. So it's even made a little task here, 
with a checkbox, which is pretty damn impressive, I've got to say. I really do like that. That's very cool. And I bet you if I go back to where was I in my chat, I've got my tasks on the right hand side here. Here we go. I've got my draft task sitting here right next to the document that has been attached there. Very, very cool. Okay, so if I tick this off inside my chat, I assume if I tick this off, uh, it's going to automatically tick it off in the document as well. Oh, look at that. It's ticked it off in the document. So tasks are now floating between documents and your task list live, whether that's sitting inside the dedicated task view inside of calendar, or if that is in the app on your phone, or you've opened tasks on the sidebar. So pretty useful feature if you want to make use of Google Tasks. Let's have a look what it looks like if we go into our Google Calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Google Calendar here, and I'm going to switch from calendar view to task view. You see it's up here in the right corner task view. Okay, so this is going to show me a list of all of my tasks here in one place, which is pretty darn cool. All right, but the question didn't ask this the question asked, can we do it in a spreadsheet without further ado, let's see if we can make this happen in a spreadsheet, huh? So we can go sheet dot new. And that's going to open up a fresh spreadsheet for us. And let's say we have I mean, this is a pretty rudimentary way of doing things. But let's say we're running a project inside of Sheets. I haven't seen anyone do this in a long time, but I know there are spreadsheet people who love this. And Google Docs, to be honest, is pretty good if you want to use it for task management, because if everyone can see the updates happening in real time, it makes it a pretty darn good tool if you wanted to use it for project management. I don't recommend it, but if you wanted to, you totally could. Okay, let's go to our task. So let's say person task details, I don't know, deadline. That's probably what you'd want to have there, right? And we'd uh, make a frozen row here. Okay, cool. So person would probably be Pete. So I can hit the at button. And I can mention someone here using the smart people chips, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I've mentioned Peter Moriarty, and that's going to automatically mention if I hover over Peter, it's going to automatically mention his contact card. I can't say for sure if this works outside my company or not. I'd be curious if someone wanted to test that. But I do know at least within the company, it's going to show you know all of the details there for that person, then let's go and create the task. So the task is I don't know, build house. Cool. All right. And the details are going to be create a new amazing palace for the founder of IT genius. Awesome. Great. Okay. And let's put our deadline. Let's make that a date field. We would probably want to do that, right? So date fields. And I, the thing I like about switching to a date field is you can just do shorthand, right? So it's the 5th of February today. I can just go five slash two, hit return, boom. It's put in my deadline. And here, let's see if we can create a task. I'd probably say task link. And let's use the magic at key and see if we can type in the word task. <gasps> oh, I don't know if we have a task here. I don't know if this will let us do it. So this is interesting. We have calendar events. We do not appear to have tasks. We have people, we have files, we have finance. That is very, very interesting. Okay, mm, what else could we do? Let's just hit the at opponents rating, we can give it emoji, we can give it drop downs. I don't think we can put tasks linked into a spreadsheet. Imagine that. Okay, we can do it in documents, but it does not appear we can do it in spreadsheets. I would wager a bet that Google are working on this and it will happen pretty soon. If it's already there in your documents, it's probably going to come to sheets pretty soon. Doesn't look like it worked out this time, guys. But let me know what your workarounds might look like. I would probably drop a link to a document with tasks in here might be a little bit messy to do that. Personally, I think this is a win for the argument of just get yourself a project manager tool. Most of them have free versions online. Asana is free for the first 15 people. That's why we love it. Search our channel for Asana to see all of our videos about why Asana is a great choice to help small business owners get started. We don't make any money if you sign up for free. If you sign up and eventually you want to buy licenses, we get a little bit of margin when you eventually grow into a large company. To be honest, we don't make that much money from Asana. We just love seeing small businesses get organized. And it's a great app that we love to use. And we recommend it as well. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.